Yup. Indeed. Yo. It's not easy. It's never easy when you're stepping out on faith. Inspiration, humiliation, tragedy. It's never easy when you're doing something new that you've never done before. When you keep hitting a wall and you feel de destined to fall and fail and never get ahead. When you change your way of thinking, the way you respond, when you literally change the way you perform and function as a being. It will take practice and more practice and more hard work to just realize just because you've passed so many trials and so many tests that you'll never fa face those same tests again. And it's not until that very moment that you realize how easy it may have been if you only reminded yourself this won't be easy. You will lose your closest friends for reasons you won't understand and people will stop calling and won't give an excuse as to why they did. Those nights you were so determined and diligent and disciplined will become a challenge for you again. And I could tell you what to do, but I'd rather remind you that you know yourself better than anyone else. And that sometimes becoming the same old you is exactly what you need to do. If that's when you had courage, if that's when your perception reminded you that fear is and never will be the equation. If you're not determined to get past that hump. Last semester, I dropped out of school. I moved out of my office and I stopped checking in on my friends. Not because I gave up, but because I knew what helped me through the day didn't get me through my day. But I didn't quit thinking. I wouldn't finish. I knew in the moment, whatever I had to deal with needed my full attention. Something bigger, something better. Something that's been just brewing and bubbling inside that just wanted to get out and get my attention and take me to the next level. Anything with enough power to remove me from my job, from my lifelong friendships, my marriages, my career paths, my educational goals, it had to be something worth paying attention to. And with all that distraction from what you're losing and you're missing and you're not getting, what and who you don't have is not easy. If we could tell a person the exact time and day well, where where they would be in the future, speaking things into existence would still have a process and delay. But don't lose your place in line because your process seems delayed. Don't turn around and give up. Storm out the door because the waiter, whose name is waiter, wasn't there to take your order. The teacher who's there in the classroom to teach you that subject is not there to learn. You are. A goal is a goal for a reason. I set out to be a better person, a different person. My mind had to make a decision. It had to intentionally change the way I thought about things, how I saw them. I had to make an uneasy recognition of how my mind and my decision-making made a difference in my life how much control over my thoughts made a difference and when you realize you have control to change your mind to change your world the world around you becomes a choice the choices we make are difficult at times in times we want something we feel we deserve something believe it's our time and the decision to realize that our time is when our time is not when we decide it is Understanding that is not easy. Neither is knowing that being patient is the only answer outside of continuing to make the right decision for ourselves. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Don't steal. One more page, one more rep, one more hour, one more statement makes all the difference that brings ease in our decisions. And knowing that our time is coming, knowing that what we have is enough, knowing what you want and what you can have, in fact, maybe two different things, but suddenly in your emotions, on one side of the scale determines where your ease lies. It's never easy making those hard decisions. It's never easy walking away. It's never easy not answering that phone call. It's never easy turning away from those friendships. It's never easy walking off of that job. It's never easy taking ourselves from a stable position and a stable mind frame and a stable living to actually dealing with challenges is knowing that you're going to be challenged, knowing that you're going to deal with shifts, knowing that things are going to be different. It's going to be scary. It's going to be different. It's going to be difficult. But in that decision of knowing that, we also have to know that it won't last forever and that peace comes 
we get our peace, we get what we want, we get what we ask for, but we have to make those decisions that are going to be uncomfortable. Hence the reason why they come up with the quote, happiness is right outside that comfort, your comfort zone, something like that. It's not easy making those decisions. And it's, but if you can find ease in knowing that whatever spontaneous may happen outside of this decision, I'm, I'm ready for it. I want it. I welcome it. I don't want to know what's going to happen. I just know what I want to do to get there. You know? And we can't pin, pin, pin write it out. And can't blue print it. We don't know nothing. We don't know nothing of what's going to happen. You know? But the easiest decision that we can make is being okay with it. And knowing that what we won't stand for, what we don't agree with, and what we don't want is not going to be in, in line with that. I think that's the only thing that we need to do is basically reject and redirect. Other than that, we get exactly what we ask for. We get exactly what's destined for us and what's in line with what we are supposed to do here. But we have to make those decisions, those uneasy decisions after being comfortable for so long to say, I'm going after what I know is mine. I'm going after what I know is here for me. I know that I'm going somewhere and not everybody can go. Not all of those actions can go. Not all of those places can go. Not all of those people can go. You know? So it's not going to be easy, but I bid you the best decisions on everything that you do, and I pray that you bring the best out of you. Yup. Indeed. Yo, growing up in a city where you tested every second Laugh now, cry later, years down to be the lesson Quick, fast from hopscotch to right hand on your confessions Your nigga running wild, not knowing what he messing with And not knowing every day that you investing in the future you So what you do is what you bound to fucking get If I knew then I would've known it wasn't worth the shit Pill popping, pimping, 357 pistol grip Yeah, and I was hella confused Mom's called